Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So we are picking up again. Um, today we're going to move on a little bit, or at least from a different place. I'm still talking about meditating on the law of the Lord, on His words, um, staying in that. And I want us to go to Proverbs chapter 4. And we have talked about these verses previously. This is not the first time. But um, still bearing... It bears going over again. And a lot of this, when we get into Proverbs 4, you can find in day 8 of the Psalm 1 book. And of course, if you want one of these, I'm happy to get you one. You can purchase them, purchase it on the website, nancyjo.org. Um, I can ship it to you, or if you're local, we can try to find some way to uh, meet up, and I'm happy to get you one. But um, this is a 31-day devotion of Psalm, 30, of Psalm 1, kind of digging into um, what we're doing right now. So we have the videos to go along with the devotion. So let's look at Proverbs chapter 4, and look at verse 20. Verse 20 is where we're going to start. And it says, My son, attend to my words. Consent and submit to my sayings. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, healing and health to all their flesh. Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance and above all that you guard, for out of it flow the springs of life. Put far away from you false and dishonest speech and willful and contrary talk. Put far from you. Let your eyes look on with fixed purpose and let your gaze be straight before you. Consider well the path of your feet and let all your ways be established and ordered aright. Turn not aside to the right hand or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. That is full. And actually, as we're reading it again, do you hear anything in there? I got my Bible notes, like things that the Lord's talking to me about. Um, falling out of my Bible. Um, and he's, it's a repeat of Joshua 1, <laughs> where he says, Turn not aside to the right hand or to the left. He says that in Joshua 1, 7. He says, Be strong and courageous that you may do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. So if he says don't turn, so if we stay fixed and we will prosper in the way that we go, then if we turn, if we deviate, if we don't stay fixed, that would mean that we would not prosper in the way that we go. And you know, we make choices. Every single day we make choices. And this right here, what we're talking about in living a godly life and making um, good decisions based on his law and his teachings and his precepts and his instructions is not bearing on his love for you. You cannot make him love you more. It is not earning his love. Um, Honestly, this is what following looks like. This is what becoming a disciple of Jesus looks like, where we um, alter our lives to look like his, where we dig in and we learn how to live as a follower of Jesus. Because if we don't follow, if we don't change, then we it's an act. If we don't move, if we don't make our lives look like him and look like his, then we're not followers. It's, it, you know, that I don't mean that to sound harsh, but it's the truth of the matter is that godliness changes us. Um, Jesus changes us. Our lives will look different when we allow Holy Spirit in us um, to renew us and remove all of the mess that was there deposited, I guess, as a result of, um, as a result of sin. So we are if we want to live a prosperous life, a successful life, then we need to get in his word and find out what that looks like. Find out how to do it. Um, so, Proverbs 4, he says, My son, attend to my words. That means give attention to my words. Consent 
and submit to my sayings. Consent and submit. That When we submit ourselves, that means that we do what he tells us to do. We make those changes. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them at the center of your heart. Life and healing. Oh my goodness, we're already at the five minute mark. Ah, I better stop and we'll uh, pick up here again tomorrow. I'll see you then y'all. Bye. <laughs>